yes, welcome to the Jamaica Young Police Channel. To all our viewers and subscribers at the channel, we are a group of law abiding citizens who believe in the rule of law and respect the rights of every citizen, but not the ones who do not subscribe to such behavior. We do believe in and support parental strikes because it saves lives. That is a logical conclusion because parental strikes save lives and prevent the further loss of lives. We are all about saving lives on this channel. We at this channel aid criminals, their financiers, their supporters, enablers, and the likes with a passion. And we do not want them over here. Yes, let us repeat ourselves. We do not want any criminal supporters over here. Please, we do not want your views, your subscriptions, your likes, or your comments. Please go elsewhere where the red carpet is waiting for you. Over here, we want you, the criminal supporters, enablers, financiers, and all the likes, to go to prison or madness. Let's re repeat myself. We are the Jamaica Young Police Channel. We do not want the criminal supporters and their circle over here. We want you to go to prison or madness. Moving on to our video. This is part two of two, you know, we'll continue the journey with this mother, you know, this corrosion. Um, assisted her son in committing murders since he was 14 years old. Now, after his death, she's making a public appeal to all mothers, you know, not to make the same mistake as she has done, you know, by cuddling her son and encouraging him to kill people. And he has been killed at 18. Uh, you know, over here, you know, at the Jamaica Young Police Channel, sympathy is a crime. We don't offer sympathy to criminals. We have zero sympathy, compassion, or empathy. But we do believe in our redemption, and she is making a public call to all of the mothers, them, to change course, stop supporting them children and don't do things because you want your children to like you. You have to be a parent and that's what is missing out of the, the lexicon of these Jamaican mothers and fathers. Yeah man, them allow them pitney to do what they want and because they want them pitney to love them and assert work. If you want your child or your children them to be outstanding citizen, you have to go to them with tough love and tell them the truth. But most mothers are liars, and most Jamaicans, I mean I tell you that. Yeah. So when you have a parent who stand up for the rule of law, um, stand up for decency, ethics and all of the good things them, you just work with them because that's how it is. So have yourself a beautiful day, um, day. you know, as we, you will continue the journey. You watch, you listen and you decide and you're going to hear her again to reinforce what she had said in the previous video because some people are, oh, boy, we hear that already. Oh, you're going to learn. I saw it going on and thinking that my brother and my sister. We're not just here about entertainment. This is things that we want to change people's lives. You understand? So, we'll continue your journey. You watch, you listen, and you decide. May I talk to your mother, them, with the boy picking them, because you know, sister, I lose one more day. Yeah. So my experience, I'm going to try to share it and I'm trying to make myself clear enough one who can understand what I'm saying. You see, when we have a little boy them, we love them too much till we forgot to do a duty as a mother. We forgot. Because I lose an eighteen year old son and me I tell you say me see my mistake or me make too when it comes to going my sons them we know we no want to take up certain measurements with the pitney them because we fear say them are going to eat we fear say them now go like we can we are going to put them up in our government homes and we are going to do this and we are going to do that yes mother we fear grief a tough love because when the boy them get out of hand and start do what they might do and start kill people from a tender age and start do the things and we can't control them again. So me a beg you know, the lady them, the mother them we have some 14 year old, 13 year old, 15 year old, 16 year old when now here and them over to a government. And them over to a government. Yes, lock them up. You understand what I'm saying? A whole heap of women mother know so we pick their teeth. We know so they might do this. We know so they might do that. And we lie down and we sit down with it until they get out and we can't control it. Me lose one what they say me can't tell you no.
Mother, we need to stand up more because of them same boy they are cast with life. And then same boy they are going to mix up with people and go involved in a certain things and then they can wipe out the whole of yard. So I beg on them, mother. No more focus when it come to it, boy. Pitney them. A we care them come here, not them care we come here. Yeah, those of you who's um you know watch this video and, and know this woman. Um they, let's give her let's give her the number. I'd like to talk, I would like to speak with her, you know, I'd like to have a conversation with her. Because that's how you have to get to um to the bottom of these things. You know and let she share some nuances about this uh you know, she being a mother and experiencing all of these things and cuddling up this boy for years until he got killed by him rivals i just saw it and then she can't you understand because what she wants she wants to change others life so if you listen um, this mother's story is a powerful reminder of the destructive cycle that arises from condoning criminal behavior she now urges other parents to stop supporting their children's involvement in crime she recognizes that by enabling their actions, they are contributing to a cycle of violence that inevitably brings tragedy to their own families. So whether or not you want to believe it, crime have a broader impact. Crime doesn't just affect individuals involved. It tears apart entire communities. The pain and suffering extend beyond the immediate victims to everyone in the neighborhood. It foster our environment a fear yeah so you know you have to understand you know say um with you know based on everything that is happening the, you know the, the the fear that it create the environment of fear mistrust and instability making it difficult for our communities to thrive so most people are understanding you know, when criminal when you are commit crime you know it affect the entire community you know even the business them in you know, a little shop them and all these things because people free to go buy it go, go shop because they don't want them free straight shot catch them and all of these things you understand so to break this cycle we must address the root causes of crime and change the community values this involves in creating positive role models positive role models are like Lawyers. Well, we're not talking talk about the thief in lawyer. You, know, you, know, you, know, you understand? Or the criminal doctors, or the criminal police, and thief in judge like um, thief, um, Brian Lego Sykes, and they are all um, corrals in the paperback judge. Them. We're not talking. We're not talk, decent judge like Gloria Smith, and uh, they understand? And um, and and Sharon Eanes. Uh, I don't remember if I saw she name and them thing. That de yeah, good like good judges. We're not talking. The, we not talk the PMP criminal organization judges and they want them to take paper back. We are talking about judges who are impartial and believe in the rule of law. Not like the old corals in them and the cryptocurrency judge them. Uh, you understand? Paper bag and cryptocurrency judge. We are talking about positive role model. Youth where you grew up in a community and you see them, you know, well spoken. You know, listen to nobody about, uh, boy, you speak uh, proper English, you're a body man. Lies. Lies that from the pits of hell. This is how the same people them in the community destroy you, the, the youths them. You understand? So you have to have you know positive role model providing educational and economic opportunities and fostering a culture of respect and accountability. Parents must take responsibility for their children's actions and work to steer them away from a life of crime. Parents is very, very important. Hey, look. Sometimes you, you get all bust off on them things, like, yeah, but hey look, see all them all, like, everything we America do, Jamaica follow, like, all we reach a point there. I say American society, I want very, America right now, no longer say I, I, I laugh in stock of the world, but America is a third world country, right now, you understand? Everything we America do, Jamaica follow, like, why Jamaica don't follow Singapore? Follow Singapore, Singapore, we supposed to follow because of Singapore, follow Jamaica, the model that Jamaica have and become a first world country. Nobody copy America because America, look, America have only two class of people in America, rich and poor. Singapore don't have that. Singapore have rich, middle class and people that are above poverty. You know the poor people living in Singapore. You understand? You know, you know, you know, you know, you understand what I'm saying. So that are the model. Why, why Singapore? Why Singapore and Japan? Why their children are industrious, well mannered, and have ethics, morality, and honesty? 
if you lose your wallet in a, in a Japan, you know, and somebody finds it, you know, they not take a dollar out of it, you know, them a car guy police station, you know. In America, you lose your wallet, nobody not, you, hey, all your credit card them are used. So why you want to adopt American culture? You talk about say, boy, no corporal punishment, you can't beat your pit. What do you mean? You can't, you can't beat your pit, you know, but you can't beat your pit with no cutlass and all them something, and you use all speed. I saw, hey, I saw some ghetto people still, still do it. You know, I tell you, you know, yeah, man. Them use all speed and beat them pitney, you know. I tell you. Hey, so, hey, I try, hey, Billy, hey, you don't understand, man. I saw some, I saw some vile people there, man, I tell you. Yeah, so, crime is a scrooge that arms everyone it touches. We can make meaningful changes by understanding the factors contributing to its perpetuation. It's time for our communities to reject glorifying criminal behavior and embrace values to promote safety, compassion, and mutual respect. That's I think we're lacking in Jamaica. Mutual respect. Man, why are you for respect him, but he no respect you. And that's some people dead. Why man kill for respect? But when you kill a man for respect you, him dead now. Oh, you're going to get the respect. Oh, so you. That no make no sense. That not so respect work. You respect me, me, I respect you. It's supposed to reciprocate. Mutuality. You understand? If you respect yourself, you're going to respect the next man, you know. But if you don't respect yourself, you can't respect the next man. But to you, you know, your fee say, boy, the man respect you and you know respect him. Your fee say, you more powerful. And a powerful, that's an ego, friend. Ego. That no work. Ego is weak. If you notice the people, they want to use ego, but people, them think critically. They're the smarter ones. But people use ego, uh, them alias. They're not, they, you know, them don't use critical thinking skills. And that's one of the problem that we have here, you understand? So only then we can hope to create a brighter future for our children, free from the shadow of violence and crime. In our society, there are distressing instances where parents, particularly mothers, actively support and even encourage their sons' criminal activities from a young age. I, I Meanwhile, when I grew up on them things, I meanwhile, Mother, we have them son, we are killer. Oh, me make my boy shot, you know. I saw it go in the ghetto. You understand? And then, when him pitney dead down, them ball, boy, murder them, murder them. But yet, you know, the people them were him killing, and a murder, him murder them, you know. Justifiable killing. Yeah, man. Although, man, the police are, are, are in work for his state, you know. But what people them were him kill is justifiable. No, for him killing them, man, a murder. Well, as him dead, is murder. So the people that were him kill and murder him, murder them because him a God. I saw them treat, yeah. Him a God or him a government. And him have, him have immunity from prosecution. The law not apply to him. But as him dead, everybody would. Yeah, you see him say, go for the damn them. Them kill people. And the time the police come for him and send him on departure alone. You see all corrals in them. Big old slobbers. And the old um, moly, moly, molies. You understand them come out and black road and them want justice. Murder, yeah, but the people that were him kill now, they don't murder him commit. Even Stephen will believe in a man. You kill? Yeah, man. Straight to the party launch. So this tragic story highlights the day, the journey of a young man who grew up in a community where killers are not only accepted but also celebrated and revered, starting as early as 14 years old. In this environment, Parents are often fully aware of their children's involvement in serious crimes, including murder. Yet they remain silent or even complicit. Some of them might have the gun, wash the clothes, see boy come in and have blood spot up on him t shirt. And that team asks him, of whose blood is that? They know, because they know say I kill them or kill somebody. Or more than one person. And I give them some boy, I hold this to mama. All this mummy. Now ask where money come from. Yeah man, somebody blood money they must spend. And them fees it I go like that every day. Ain't time them dead now. Boy, them kill him. As if him not kill he not kill enough yet. So as these young men continue down the path of violence and crime, their appearance often look the other way, choosing to ignore the consequences of their actions in the broader community. However, the cycle of violence eventually come full circle when these young men become victims of retaliation from rivals. 
Their mothers and parents suddenly seek sympathy, empathy and compassion from society. This stark contradiction highlights a critical issue within our communities. One mother, whose son was a notorious figure in the community, exemplified this tragic irony. She supported and condoned her son's criminal behavior despite knowing the pain and suffering he inflicted on others. Now, at the age of 18 years old, her son has been killed and she's experiencing first and the anguish and grief that the families of his victims endure. So she I know it feel now, you know. She now attempts to do the right thing by warning other parents to stop supporting their children's criminal activities. A video like this now go viral, you know, because guess what? You know, I tell about um, people like, you know, I tell about nothing. Yeah, you know, I tell her, and entertainment. This no, you know, no, them thinking you know, go right. No, you know, we go right viral. You tell them something about somebody life and all them things that that them love for you. They don't want the things they want to help them to become better. But we still are doing it still. And you understand, if I even one person we can save, at least that are one life safe. So this mother's transformation underscore an important lesson. By condoning and enabling criminal behavior, parents contribute to a cycle of violence that ultimately brings tragedy back to their doorstep. Her message is a plea for change. She urges other mothers and fathers to recognize the long-term consequences of their actions and take a stand against criminality. The pain of losing a child is immense. But it is a pain that has been felt by the families of all the victims her son harmed. The community must acknowledge that crime does not pay. It hurts everyone involved, from the perpetrator and their families to the innocent victims and the neighborhoods they lived in. By breaking the cycle of violence and refusing to glorify criminal behavior, we can work towards creating safer, more compassionate communities where our children can grow up without the shadow of crime looming over their futures. The recent video posted by a grieving mother, this grieving mother, serves as a both a cautionary tale and a heartfelt plea. In this emotional message, she expressed deep regret for not instilling in her son the value of morality, ethics, decency, honesty and self-respect. She acknowledges that his lifestyle choices led him down the path of criminality which ultimately resulted in his ultimate death, untimely death. Her appeal to other parents to avoid making the same mistake is commendable, yet it underscores a painful reality this tragedy could have been prevented. This mother's public admission of her feelers is both brave and commendable. She recognizes that her son's life choices were heavily influenced by the lack of proper guidance and values during his upbringing. She hopes to prevent other parents from facing the same heart-wrenching loss by sharing her story. Her message is a stark reminder of parents' critical role in shaping their children's future. Preventing such tragedies begins with early intervention Parents must prioritize teaching their children strong moral values, ethical behavior, and self-respect. Teach them about honesty. Teach them about decency. Teach them about self-respect. Teach them about love. Teach them to respect other people's property and other people's lives. It is not enough to hope that children will learn these principles independently are from their environment. It starts from home. Active and consistent parenting guides children away from negative influence and toward a positive and fulfilling life. Parents must create a supportive, nurturing environment that encourages honesty, truthfulness, 
decency and ethical behavior. This includes being actively involved in your children's in your children's lives, knowing their friends and being aware of their activities. Know who your children. Yeah, that's that's why when I was growing up, I can tell you, a one friend me have. Uh, uh, the two friends that we have, when I say friend, them dead. All of the others, them are acquaintance. I have acquaintance. Um, yeah, me and used to go, we used to go to school and him come and uh, even at high school, like, most police him come from Tivoli, him dead at prison. Most police, I don't know my friend. That's acquaintance. A two friend me have, and the two friends them dead. So my peer, even my parents, them even choose who were my, I don't really choose. It's based on, the, um, the youth, them, them parent background, I know them behave. Them, yeah, that was acceptable for you as friend. So who I knew when I was growing them things, my friend, I was a food. We go to high school together. And, you know, unfortunately, boy, I'm, I'm passed for like about 14 years after I meet. Best friend, never hide for tell me the truth. The one I best friend that tell me the truth, you understand? Yeah. And then me have a next best friend now and him dead now uh, 14 years. So me now a friend. Best friend of people tell you best friend of people tell you the truth. And none of these people are people indulging in a criminality. Everybody else are just acquaintance when me and them grow. I don't know friend. Friend of people know your secrets. You understand? Me have people, me and them evil me know all since they are police. And you thought that you and them shit, you and them a friend. And then eventually you fought, you know, because you tell them the truth them. Talk to you a certain way because number one, I don't believe in a if me are your friend. Uh, if a man drunk on them thing, they be a certain. I just say it go that different. But if a man consciously, consciously, all I got disrespect you and tell you about where you forgot to do with your mother and them thing. There. You know, say so them the man and I don't respect them. Man, they're not your friend. So you just, uh, you have to just dump them. You have to choose the kind of people them you keep as a friend. People are more filthy. No, you can't be your friend. I'm not a friend that. You have to choose people. You not supposed. Hey, look here. You not supposed to have no friend. Period. Your friend not supposed to be lower than you. It's supposed to be somebody in the same, the same category where you are higher. If you are gonna keep friend with somebody with lower than you, you not gonna grow because that person gonna drag you down. You want to grow. People will help to motivate you and elevate your life. That's how you want. You don't want for people with them look. Up. Uh, them like a ordinary thinking and them the world is the the world the world the world don't owe you nothing nothing the world don't owe you and them all is a complaint like I said the world the world don't owe you nothing yeah, that, that, that's why I tell you open communication and trust are critical components of a healthy parent child relationship which can help steer children away from the temptations of criminal lifestyles so when you have your child and them thing, you, you, you be honest with them as parents. But some man, look, them not care. Them in at them bed with them man and feed them boy pit me out there. I can't to them, I work for take care of them, the mother, while she in a bed with a man. Make that make sense. And then the same boy, you know. Son, yeah man, uh, him feel mother a world. But him don't know say mother a worse thing. He mother a carousing. Because your mother in a bed asleep with man. At that the man if you mind uh, you as a little teenager you out the boy your host your work for mine your mother. You want to be your mother man. You supposed to let they be to your book. You understand? So preventing future tragedies also requires a collective effort from the entire community. Schools, local organizations, and community leaders must collaborate to provide resources and support for at risk families by offering educational programs, mentorship opportunities, and positive role models. Communities can help create a safer and more supportive environment for all children. So this mother's story is a call to action for parents and communities. It reminds us that while speaking out against crime and offering advice to others, it is commendable it is even more crucial what she has done to take proactive steps to prevent such outcomes. Parents must be vigilant and proactive in their children's lives, ensuring they grow up with the correct value and guidance. 
Why? Hey, look here, man. I tell you, man, life is so. We give God thanks, say, life. You know, you have some father. Yeah, you have some. Yeah, man, you have some dirty man, man. May I tell you, you have some dirty man out there. We have father. I mean, when you listen to me, you know, some of the corals now and dirty papa. Yeah, man, we from Una and the mother part. We no business with the picnic again. I don't know why the picnic around you know. But you know, we pick up our next summer with for them all corals the picnic them. Dutty bungle and you them on a treat. Uno dutty father. Uno yeah man, hopeless pupa. I, I mean a dutty man them and guess what? Them now we pick up all woman with all four or five picnic and a feed them and a fiend picnic them in you know? a fiend and that the woman and fear picnic them in you know? a live with them in you know? a and none of them pitney and live with him, you know. Fiend pitney and can't live in a fiend house, you know. Even the house where him and the woman buy. All dirty man them. I saw them stay. Yeah, every time for them pitney, come round, the woman no want them round a bit round them. And him, yeah, because through him now, if him not do that, you don't know say a lock she a lock shop on him. So him no business, all him a think about her. himself in no the business about him pitney them. And then long, long, long run, yeah man, the same woman. She just kick him to the curve, she and her pitney them and them gone. And I see him pitney them now. With him, he all dirty man. Him with far sick all of them years. Where him never want to pitney them around him. All went to, hey, all sometimes when him pitney them, I feel I take bus, if you go back to them mother. Night, him in a bed with him and I listen to love music. And I, I, you understand? Yeah, I saw them stay, some dirty man. All owner. Who knows some of them things that help contribute to all these youths involved in a criminality because they must search forget that fatherly love. I saw them end up in a gang because I want a dirty man. Who knows the business boy, who knows the pit, you understand? And they, well, when the pit is successful now, oh, a my boy, that and a my girl. You know, a dirty man, man. Fire phone. Yeah, man, fire phone. Or a corals, you know, corabunkers, pa. Yeah, man, you know. Yeah man put in a barrel and roll down, roll in our cars way. So the mother's regretful video poignantly reminds us of the consequences of neglecting to instill proper values in our children. Her appeal to others to avoid making the same mistakes is powerful and necessary. However, it is also highlights the importance of taking preventive measures to ensure such tragedies do not occur. By fostering a supportive environment and teaching children the importance of morality, ethics, decency, honesty and self-respect, we can help guide them towards a brighter future. Yeah. So, as we tell you, you know, so this corrosion, yeah man, the mother is a criminal cuddler. You, you understand? Remember, you know, the communities in a Jamaica have twisted values. Yeah. It has twisted everywhere now. No, our country, our country are drones down now. Everybody want to be criminal. Everybody want to be killer. Everybody want to be shot up. And nobody no want to be dead. And nobody no want to go to prison. But guess what? At this one, I got a little virgin. I remember one time the most peaceful people in Jamaica. That's why I tell the people in my Portland. Anytime you see the man them coming on a commute, I know, call, call 119. If you don't trust the police, call 119. And tell him, say, you see two, man, two men with gun. If I even one, tell him, say, two. And all I hear tell, because the next one, you know, see him. One man, one criminal not travel with gun at Jamaica anymore. I'm one, two, and five, or six of them. You understand? Culture of violence. This community might have a long history of violence. And that's how it happened now in Jamaica. Everywhere have a long history of violence now since... The 1990s, yeah man, everybody want to be killer. Met Duppy, as if Duppy now have family. Perhaps rooted in conflict, competition or a harsh environment. Taking life is seen as a sign of strength and dominance. Them not see it as nothing wrong. I'm going to feed them life alone, matter. Them not see your life, matter. I'm going to feed them life. When time them dead now is murder. But when them kill anybody else, no, I'm a murder. Them justifiably and them are done. And them are top shot and them are killer. And them are my G. Them are my charge. And them are my Jenna. So those who kill the most are not, are in the most, 
impressive ways or heroes. They could be public display of their achievement or even competitions. So them will do all music, you know, and big them up in a song and say, oh, man, I'm gonna kill you and I saw it going up. So everybody want them name in a music. No, you know, I got here, you know, I got here the boy around the road now where him, um, guy, you come out and him work as a chemist or something. No, sir, he might, oh, I fool that man, he might, yeah. Oh, him, after I never got a jail yet. You have to go to jail for your recognition in a Jamaica. All the madness there, I saw them do it. Yeah, if you don't go to jail, no. You ever go to jail, yet, boy? Oh, you understand? I see all the video of them send. But I tell you, I don't think you have the time. I don't think you have the time and all them things if you play it. Yet. Where a boy go to jail. And yeah, man, I'm go to jail. And the man say, hey, hey, boy, come here. So what are you doing here? Boy, say, police say, say, oh, you have rent? Jail, you know? And, <laughs> and the boy say, I man say, you ever kill nobody yet? And you come in and I go and say, oh. And I say, oh, I'm a bad man on the road. The man say, but I don't know you. And the man, the man them trip him up and take away him four grand from him. And then a uh, man box him, start ball out, police. <laughs> I say, wow, yeah, I just say it. So I that I'm on a fight for. So in a every part of the scheme, right? You no matter how many people that you kill, when you got hey, when you got pr jail and prison a different, a different level of violence now with them fear. See all the youth where one youth where come from St. Elizabeth over South when he was. Yeah man where police kill him on Sunday. Police have used the M16 now. He said he didn't go back to jail. Reason why? Because was get raped when he died of prison. When he come out of prison, you understand the father in law. That's why he killed him step uh, him stepfather. You know. The boy, yeah man was in a leak round there like with pea red syrup. So the man said, yeah man, you soon go back to prison man and make them bust up your body. I so make him kill the man. You understand what I'm saying? So him kill the man. Him father in law. That figure to show is how them boy, how the people them operate. So him now when he claims say him a bad man. When him in prison, man bad on him come and hold him down and rape him. Yeah, you understand? Lick before him come out of prison. Cause I father in law, I stepfather go pick him up. And him kill this you understand? Just because he wants to say, yeah, man, you soon go back to prison, man. But then I rape you. And bust up your body and him kill the man. Cause the man go talk in business. So I sit now and police go for him. He say, oh, him not, you have to kill me. And the police ended up, they have to kill him. Yeah, and I, I just saw it go. So the killings might be used to instill fear in rival and outsiders, creating a sense of security within the community, even it even if it is a twisted farm. What I'm not understand is that now. You see, back in the days, like in the 70s and 80s, where a man say I'd done, and the next man would have freed for arm him. 2024, different. A man had <laughs> all your dog him want to kill. Him ki yeah, so they might go right back, just like in the 80s when they them kill. When they kill um, Joe Dog, mother. And, and you understand? Because they go shoot um, they go shoot um, Starkey cousin. I just saw it go. Different thing. So I saw people, innocent people lose them life because of this criminality. And it's acceptable in our community where them when them kill people, why them say see no evil, you no evil. He that keep it his mouth, keep it his life. But in time them dead now, yeah, you for talk when the police kill them. You see no because a police kill them. Them them never kill nobody yet. A twisted, yeah man, twisted form of thinking. So pride versus fear. Parents might be instill with the same values and take pride in their son's achievements. However, they also know deep down that killing is wrong and fear losing their sons to rival violence. So the, these mothers, you know, them, yeah man, them love them, love them son and adore them, treat them like a baby, although they're a killer. And they feel like so them can't dead now, because through them I kill people, because them feel so every time when they kill somebody, they get the person life wrong. A nonsense that you look know, how many people where you kill that not stop you from dead. So silence or survival, speaking out against the violence could put the family in danger. They might need to maintain appearances and even encourage their sons. So everything when you cognitive cognitive dissonance, 
they might justify their silence by telling themselves their sons are protecting the community or that their debts wouldn't change the culture. Hypocrisy of grief, denial and self-preservation. When their sons are killed, these parents might experience genuine grief that hurt them and feel them pitney dead. But their outward display of grief are likely mixed with a desperate need for sympathy to deflect blame and avoid scrutiny. So that's why she had come out now and thing and she appealed to other mothers. But before then she couldn't talk to fear boy for them a 14 in my kill for four years. And in a Jamaica them I saw it going on in murder. That's why Jamaica is criminal's paradise because in a Jamaica, once you witness a murder, most of, nine out of ten at a time, the people them have to move from Jamaica. Them can't live there. You're dead. In a Jamaica, that's why we say over here in farm, we're the biggest in farmer. He, over here, so we say in farmer for live and gunman for dead. And we say that without no apology. We're the biggest in farmer on YouTube. So you understand? We say that and we say it proudly. Shifting the narrative, they might try to portray their sons as victims, ignoring their violent past to gain support and advice, being ostracized by society at large. So, yeah, man, so when him kill how many people and police killing them, black road, oh, him innocent and him killing him in a cold blood. But yet, you know, them, not, they, them forget how many people him killing you know. her. Him innocent now, you know. What want to people them, what him kill? That I, that I tra trajectory we want to change. Even Stephen, you kill, your time forget kill. So lack of choice. The community might be isolated, making it difficult for families to leave or challenge the dominant culture. You see people living in a ghetto. Hey, me know all, hey look here, I know all people where, I'm not going to say whether they relate to me or not. Where in a same, um, in a Jones Zone, concrete jungle, where they have to move because of the same violence, even me a police. But I don't, don't get myself involved because of them, them didn't want to still live there. They could have moved. They could have all go join all the army. Or they, put, they say no, they don't want to be no informer. And they end up now in a long run, they end up in jail and charged with murder. Why do you think Chris helped them? No, he helped them. Yeah, you didn't have the choice. You have the choice whether to join the police force or join the military. No. You say you don't want me no informer. So I just saw it go. Them man people, you know, war and all of them things. The man shoot off a what man and man kill man and man friended and all kind of madness. When these people know better. So it is important to remember that the situation is complex. While the parents' actions are difficult to condone, understanding the societal pressure and fears they face can provide some context. So we're glad for the video where this mother share with me. And you know, as usual, we have to share it with you because it's positive, you know. Not because she all corrodes and them things, but hey, we believe in a redemption. So she make a mistake. So it's a you are a corrodes and dirty bungle mother. What do you mean? Hey, corrodes and dirty bungle and corrobunkers mother and pupa. I who not feel listen to this. And I make fun of all dirty people them come and make the same mistake as this old man and all dirty boy. You understand? All corrodes there and see him straight out of the party alone. We don't have zero sympathy for them. Can find you kill people? Uh, yeah, man. Even Stephen. You kill? You you kill? You kill people? Hey, when you get killed, we, don't have, we have zero sympathy for you. So have yourself a beautiful day. Jamaica, Young Police Channel. Out.